Hey, I'm Chris Zett from Make Everything, and today I'm going to show you how I got a perfect round over on the edge of this steel plate using what is essentially a router bit for steel. Check it out. All right, so last month I was at Fabtech in Chicago, and if you're not familiar with Fabtech, it's a huge convention with thousands of exhibitors showing off products that help with metalworking, forming, grinding, shaping, and welding. One of the vendors there were my friends at Fair to Braces, and while I was walking around their booth, I saw this little guy. Now this looked to me like a router bit made for wood. It's a 10 flute solid carbide bit with a guide bushing and a guide bearing, and when I saw it, I asked the guys at Fair about it, and they said, yeah, it'll route, basically round over the edge of steel plate or aluminum plate or really any metal. So I have been making these sculpture bases for some friends of mine that have an art fabricating shop and we wanted to put a really nice consistent eased edge on the 3 8 water jet plate. And I thought this would be perfect. So I'm going to show you how this thing cuts and uh, tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, so I've got my router set up and I've got my base set even with the bushing. And now this is a variable speed router. The recommended RPMs for this on steel is between 12,000 and 15,000. I've got mine set somewhere in the middle uh, on the front over here um, at about, I'm at about 14,000. So I think I should be good. Now you can see I already did a couple of areas on this. Um, and I'm gonna just kind of feather in in between there and here. And you can see how this thing cuts. Beautiful. Super clean, perfectly rounded edge with this guy. Okay, so essentially we've got a carbide burr with a guide bearing on top and then a bushing with a bearing in it and a spacer. So this is gonna sit in normally like a die grinder, but in my case, I'm using it in a wood router. And this is a 10 flute piece of carbide, and this is gonna be able to carry away the steel chips really well. Now this is recommended to be used between 12 and 15,000 RPMs for steel, and 15 and 18,000 RPMs for non-ferrous metals like aluminum. And this, I've already used on this entire piece of plate so you can see how it's a little worn in and you can see there was so much heat on this bushing that it's actually got heat colored a little bit but it performed really well and it's still incredibly sharp
All right, so that about does it for this little video. I just felt that it was necessary to show off a product like this because it's absolutely gonna change the way that I work with steel in my shop. You know, the biggest part about fabricating and making things for other people is finding creative and quick ways to get really nice uniform results. Um, and you know, tr traditionally, if you wanted a round over edge on a piece of steel, you would do it with a grinder, or if you were running on a milling machine, you could use a corner radius uh, mill cutter. So, um, you know, other bevelers like this exist. I have just never used one before, and I've never seen one that performs quite like this one with the guide bushing. Now, I did go ahead and kind of ease the edge a little bit further with a Polyblease disc from Faird, which has a little bit of kind of a Scotch-Brite style abrasive built in there, and it's a pretty worn out disc, so all it did was take any little burr that might be left on the piece and rub it away. So if you're interested in these, they're about a hundred bucks. Um, I'll put a link down in the description on where you can get one. Um, and they make two versions. One comes with this whole guide bushing and one just comes with the bit itself, which you were, if you were gonna use a router, you could just set it um, and get a round over or even kind of put a little more of a decorative edge if you were to use the step on the outside edge of it. So anyway, um, I posted this on Instagram and a lot of people asked me questions. So hopefully if you have questions, you'll leave them down in the comments below and I'll be able to answer them. Um, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, my handle is at make everything shop. I post pretty much every day. I share a lot of what I'm doing behind the scenes and I share little tips like this and show different products that I'm using to help me get my jobs done. Again, I'm Chris Zepp from Make Everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and more videos making stuff. All right, thanks a lot. See you on the next one.